Hello Capricorn and welcome to your weekly reading. Capricorn, this is for the week of April 10th through the 16th. This is a general reading, will not resonate with every single one of you. So please take what resonates and leave the rest. Feel free to check your moon and rising signs to see if there's more clarity or more answers or whatever you're seeking in those for you. Alright Capricorn, um, if you're new to my channel, welcome to forest for the trees my name is rudy i appreciate you all being here if you're returning thank you so much for your trust and support for your likes shares and subscribes and all your energies i appreciate all of you all so very much so very interesting five five seven of wands and then the five of pentacles and two of pentacles bottom of the deck we have the sun card beautiful wow coming after hmm some could be partnership, union, could be love, could be partner, um, heartache, done, finished, light coming in, which is the sun card. So whatever ending this you've been through, you needed to go through it. It's like you had to take matters into your own hands and you had to go through it. This is subconscious energy, but the bottom of the deck is the sun card. So you do have this Leo energy. You have this beautiful new beginning, uh, being given another chance, um, you know, dawn of a day, um, having the potential to be seen, you know, to, to shine, having growth, learning, knowledge, bottom of the deck. So you have all that in you and it's just like, you know, trying to believe it. You have boundaries. I just feel like you've had hurt. You've had a really bad hurt. Something's happened. Something's ended. Uh, something had to come to an end and you are kind of lost. You're kind of wandering and you don't really know which direction to go in. You know that, you know, things have changed. Things have changed really drastically and dramatically for you. And, you know, even though you're optimistic and you're trying to keep, keep your chin up, so to speak, you know, in reality, you're not doing that great. You're, you're trying, but you're not doing that great. You're hanging in there what you have to realize is there's people there to help you. There's, there's help there for you. You can feel alone and left out and you can feel like nobody sees you or nobody cares, but there's, there's help there. There's people there. There's, you know, you just have to go in and ask for it. You have to make sure that you aren't, um, you have to realize that sometimes people don't, they're not mind readers. You know, you have to ask if you need something they can't just do, or they can't just figure it out. Sometimes it's like, why didn't they know that? You know, some people don't know that. So you have to tell them, but there's help there. There are people there to help you, but you have to, uh, ask. You can't, um, go into self pity and, and just kind of, um, just assume that they should know. Uh, sometimes people need to be told things. And that goes for partners as well. I get a lot of that with uh, clients that, you know, well, my partner should know that. I've been with them for X amount of years. Well, they're not mind readers. And if they are, you know, sometimes even that, even mind readers don't pick up on everything. But it's so much easier to tell people, you know, I get that with presents. They're like, um, they don't know, ever get me a right present or a good present or I always get them good stuff or whatever. And it's like, well, do you tell them what you want? And they're like, no, they should know. And I'm like, why don't you give them a list and tell them to surprise you, you know, get, get one or two things off the list. At least you get something you want. People just try, make things more difficult than they really are. Sorry, I'll get off my soapbox. The seven of, um, wands again, whatever you've been through. Whatever hurt you've been through, whatever fi fi finale you've been through, you've put up boundaries. It's taught you to uh, be tougher. It's taught you to stand up for yourself. It's taught you to stand your ground for your beliefs and what you will put up with and what you won't put up with. It's, you know, you're, you're protecting yourself. You've made this decision long ago, um, well, maybe not that long ago, but you've made this decision to... You know, if it's almost like this card too, you know, I'll just take care of myself. I don't need anybody is kind of what I'm feeling with this card. And that's kind of what I feel with this too. It's like this stubbornness that you are holding your ground, that you aren't going to let anybody in. You're going to, you're going to figure it out. You're going to figure it out. You'll do it. You don't need anybody is what I'm feeling. Um, 
But yet, I feel like deep down, you really do want somebody. You really do want to be seen. You do want to start over. You do want a new day. And it could just be you're not ready for it yet. Maybe you're not ready for it yet. Maybe you haven't lost all hope with the sun card. Well, I know you haven't lost all hope with the sun card. But you're you're going through this time. It's like, I can't count on anybody but myself is what I'm, I'm feeling. And if I need something done, I'm going to do it. I'll figure it out is what I feel with the two of pentacles. I'm going to figure this out. It's not easy, but I'll figure it out. I'll hold it together. I'll balance it. I'll juggle it. I'll do whatever I have to do. I'll do it. I don't need anybody. Which is, you know, good and bad. I think everybody needs somebody. Yeah, it's like, you know, there's such bitterness here. But there's also a sense of, you know, you're going to do it your way. You're going to do it your way. It's like if I can't count on anybody, I'm just going to count on myself. And I'm going to do it my way. And eventually I'll get here. Eventually I'll get here. Because I think you feel like this inside. But on the outside you're very um, stubborn and very bitter. And very much um, <clears throat> self-pity comes to mind. For whatever the situation was. It's very tumultuous and rocky. And unstable energy. And you're trying to navigate it. To navigate it the best that you can. But you are. You just don't, you don't want help right now. You don't want help. You want to do it yourself. I don't know who you're proving it to. I don't know if you're proving it to yourself. I don't know if you're proving it to the partner. I don't know if you're proving it to a family member. But there is help there. That's all you have to do is ask. And, um... From what I feel with the with the five of pentacles, it's not a judgmental card. It's not a judgmental card. It's not like you're going to go in there and people are going to say, I knew you were weak. I knew you couldn't do it. You know, it's not like that at all. There's honesty there. It's almost like if you really want to change, you need to, um, you need to come on inside, so to speak. All right, let's get a more card for you. Capricorn. You know, and you have Leo shows up here. Um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, you're showing up there. And then Aries, Intention. Wow. 22 and 2 and 2 is 4. So that's a number of stability and structure. This is to me a wish card too. It's like, you know, you have wishes. You can do whatever. That's that's the um, dandelion. And look at all the other wishes you have. If that one doesn't work out, there's more. I feel like this is what this, this is trying to tell you. That you could have had a setback. Things might not have went your way. Um, but you need to kind of keep yourself in check a little bit. That you, you don't turn so bitter and don't turn your back on life. And don't turn your back on everything. You know, you have a lot of living to do. You have a lot to offer people. And it would be a shame to kind of let all that go. Deliberate clear intentions have the power to change the world. Your objectives will be fulfilled at this time. Inspired intentions are like magic arrows shot into the sky. The universe is bringing you a gift, showing you that you're hitting your mark. Recognize that you're not the only one who has to do all the work. What did I just say? <sighs> However, others help you co-create reality. You connect to the power of your intentions, sending it out to the field, then allow the synchronicities to work its magic. Perhaps the good intentions of others will, will inspire you to send out beautiful ones of your own. Own the life you want to lead and live deliberately in clarity with clarity and detachment. And that's part of it. It's like you can still be strong. You can still be in charge, but you can let others help you. I just feel like you've had a really big setback and a really big hurt and a really big um, um, shock almost. And let others help you it's not a sign of weakness to have people help you it's it's a sign of love right other people want to help you that's why we're here just to help each other 
That is why we are here, to help each other. That's beautiful. Sending out into the field and allow your synchronicities to work its magic. You know, so what you put out, you're going to get. So you want to put out love. You do. I mean, this is deep down. This is you. And this bitterness and this resentment is not. And it's directed toward probably somebody else. But it's affecting your life. It's affecting your world. And you need to shift that energy. You need to let somebody in. Let, let people help you. Let people take some of the burden. Let people take some of that worry and that juggling energy. So you can release a little bit and go with the flow and move, move a little bit easier. You can still keep your boundaries up. You can still keep up your um, fortress. That's fine. But let others in to help you. All right, Capricorn. Good luck to you. Good luck to you. Good luck to you. Um, again, the owl, the wiseness, you know, there's, there's wisdom. If there's somebody in the family that is older, listen to them. If they're trying to talk to you, listen to them. And also, you know, figure out and realize what you've learned from this experience, what you've learned from this, because you'll take that with you also. It'll be, it'll be another tool to put in your, in your tool bag, right? Take care, Capricorn. Stay safe and healthy. And good luck to you this week. Let me know how this resonates. Bye for now.